hello students we have discussed uh, earlier important uh, clinical and surgical condition that is swelling now we have finished everything about swelling now we have to go to the next common entity many disease may present like what is called as ulcer so swelling is another one one part ulcer is another part where many diseases present as an ulcer so many conditions tuberculosis may be so many conditions malignancy may be so many conditions so if patient comes with that how to approach and come into conclusion so there will be a clinical approach so that is the what we are going to discuss examination of an ulcer so learning objectives are at the end of the session the students will be able to learn the following history taking in an ulcer patient is very important like swelling to learn different clinical approach to examine the ulcer patient same like swelling inspection palpation percussion auscultation system examination there is same method in orderly way you have to do that to learn differential diagnosis and investigations and of course at the end video demonstration of the an examination of ulcer so that you will have the clear clear idea about uh, a an ulcer patient so what is the definition of ulcer we have been telling ulcer 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 so what it meant there is a there is a word technical meaning clinical meaning is there so what is the meaning for that an ulcer is a break in the continuity of the covering epithelium either skin or mucous membrane due to molecular ulcer death see it is a break in the either skin here or it may be in the uh, stomach or lining inner lining gi maybe there may be ulcer in the stomach gastric ulcer or in the duodenum duodenal ulcer or in the ileum ileal ulcer or in the colon colonic ulcer or in the esophagus esophageal ulcer or in the mouth mouth ulcer same ulcer in the skin so what you are mainly mainly concentrating in the on about the ulcer in the skin but anywhere lining is lost and uh, from the crater like that is uh, due to cell death that is called an ulcer, uh, called as an ulcer so there is a another meaning called uh, wound so is it you no know, lot of uh, debates and questions uh, in the students uh, mind whether ulcer and wound is same wound also they will define same thing ulcer also they will define same thing having understood ulcer but they find defi difficult to define many more of on many times uh, wound they presume that both are synonymous both are not synonymous there lot of difference so what is wound if you understand wound then ulcer is easier to understand ulcer is a part of the wound only one of the part one of the types of the wound actually so wound is simply disruption of any tissue soft tissue or bone or internal organs structurally and functionally this word is very very important structurally and functionally whereas ulcer is a disruption or break in the continuity of the lining of the tissue maybe skin or mucous mucous membrane so otherwise ulcer is one of the types of wounds so wound is a very broad big terminology so if there is a liver injury there is called wound if there is spleen injury there is called wound if there is a bowel injury it is called wound if there is thoracic injury it is called wound if there is lung injury brain injury so everywhere it is a wound ulcer is one of the types it should it is only uh, named when there is a uh, uh, break in the uh, lining skin mucous membrane and so on wherever i had told earlier so this clear meaning different difference you should know Um, and should understand so wound is not synonymous with the ulcer ulcer is a specific entity wound is a, a different entity so rather wider entity so you can see the ulcer here this is an ulcer you can see actually this is the healing ulcer actually you can see the granulation tissue you can see the margin you can see that here an ulcer the scar there actually this is a malignant ulcer marginal ulcer in an existing scar unstable scar patient has had scar earlier and just turned into malignancy because of the repeated breakdown and because of the instability and of course because of the long duration so it's a malignant ulcer just to give you on the show photo of them we will we'll go through the different types and all this, and then we will come to know what the exact will have the exact picture of the ulcer as such so this again that ulcer i shown see that very necrotic area full ulcer spreading it is so very deep callus so ulcer both side both limbs is a venous ulcer actually see the typical look of this ulcer different ulcer different areas different conditions can cause ulcer there's so many causes for ulcer actually so what are the parts are you tell ulcer ulcer you know definition now so what are the parts of an ulcer there's a clinical parts are there it's a methodical it is it same it is exactly you should know then only will have that because the parts has got a meaning it is a one it is a one which helps you to clinch a diagnosis clinch a possible cause for that particular ulcer so that is very very important to know the a parts of an ulcer so this is the diagram there is a margin there is an edge there is a floor there is a base there are the four parts basically of course 
around here surrounding area is there whatever surrounding area of the skin or mucous membrane that is called surrounding area there is an additional part even though it is not exactly part of ulcer but it is included in that because that is also important when you give a conclusion give a diagnosis uh, or when you examine it clinically so margin margin is the one which you see the edge, you see the normal and diseased area that is peripheral limit of an ulcer it is connected to the floor through edge of an ulcer see this is a peripheral limit this is the floor so this is the edge so this is how exactly it is connected it may be regular now how will explain a margin now already earlier sessions i have told swelling edge border margin almost synonymous some place you may say edge some place you may have margin some place but this is not more synonymous there is no clear cut demonstrable difference clinically between these uh, nomenclatures when you consider swelling but here it is not so edge is totally different margin is totally different you can't say you can't tomorrow tell uh, edge is uh, edge as a margin margin as edge it's a clear cut meaning and differences are there so how will when you say a margin how will you explain margin clinically margin may be well defined well defined maybe like this very clear but be well well defined not very clear ill defined or maybe margin may be regular like this or maybe irregular irregular like this so that is how it being defined actually regular irregular maybe rounded oval shape depending on the shape oval rounded like this different shapes it may be well defined ill defined so when you explain a margin regular and well defined regular and well defined irregular and well defined irregular and ill defined like that you have to use these these technical words you can't just explain as you want these words you have to use when you explain a margin now next is edge i have told margin you got a clear idea the junction of normal tissue from the margin normal tissue begins from from the margin inward diseased tissue begins through the edge so that is how the edge is between the margin and floor of the ulcer it's a connecting one connecting bridge like edge is the one which connects the floor of the ulcer to the margin now what is floor floor is the one which you see here floor is the which you see here it is the one which is seen floor may contain discharge granulation tissue or fluff fluff is yellow thing if you see many ulcer will be able to see discharge is maybe serous maybe the smell pus maybe blood so discharge is different fluff is different is a little different fluff is because it's thick it is thick thick it is granulation is a very red it is because healing ulcer healing means there will be good healthy granulation tissue maybe it may still may be non healing but it will be unhealthy so it looks red patch or white or not not white red patch or pink like that so that is what you have to look for in the floor it is visible you can palpate it also next is base here there is where ulcer lies maybe in the bone maybe in the muscle maybe in the fascia whatever it is a deeper plane whatever up to the bone you can whatever the fascia if the very deep it may be bone if there is my muscle maybe maybe it may be fascia so what is the base is not seen a base is deep to the floor otherwise ulcer rests on the base so it is not seen it is not inspected it is felt it is clinically felt but it is actually the deeper plane so they not uh, diagram wise you can always do like that is the base base is the one where ulcer rests it may be bone soft tissue base is felt not seen remember and surrounding area i already told that is also important when you say because surrounding area gives added information when you examine the uh, patient clinically so this is this is the floor in the patient this is the margin this is the edge this is the surrounding area see all over surrounding area there the base base is not seen base is only felt you can feel it but you can't see floor you can see you, you can feel and uh, see also margin is usually seen be able to feel it but not very clear difficult to uh, feel it so it is usually not felt may be able to or well, base is not felt at all edges both uh, seen and felt both inspected and palpated edge surrounding area seen and felt floor seen and felt base is only felt not inspected margin is usually inspected seen difficult to feel but may be sometimes but usually not felt so these are the these are the four components of an ulcer margin floor edge base you can see that where is margin here this is the margin this is the floor this is the edge this is the surrounding area and base is underneath there is no you can't show in the in the in a given patient diagrammatically you have seen now you have seen the uh, ulcer different parts margin edge floor base margin i have described you know you got a, you have got idea now now next is edge edge is very very important in an ulcer 
now if if there are so many types because he based on the edge only he will be able to give a proper clinical diagnosis because different types of edge really is a feature of different conditions how ulcer uh, from from which ulcer has developed so what are the different uh, types of edges you know of so you see the diagram here sloping edge punched out edge undermined edge raised and beaded edge everted edge we will look at sloping edge sloping edge is seen in healing ulcer its inner part is red because of red granulation tissue here here red granulation tissue will be there that's why it's red in the middle part is blue due to epithelial proliferation here this part it is blue because new a new epithelial occurs because it's healing so it is blue in color and its outer part is white due to scar tissue formation this is a scar tissue formation of so scar outer part middle part is blue epithelialization and inner part is red that is granulation tissue so that is very very important look at this diagram same thing correlates here this is red now you can see the blue margin here and you can see the outer white margin so this is typical sloping edge that is how exactly immediately you can say that it is a healing ulcer so this edge really gives the uh, clinical diagnosis it is a healing ulcer so it's very typical it is in this diagram so next is once you have diagnosed uh, understood the sloping ulcer now next is undermined edge undermined edge is like like this burrowing skin looks normal but deep ulcer is going deep deep underneath like this it is going deep it is commonly seen in tuberculosis disease process advances in the deeper plane in the subcutaneous tissue whereas epidermis proliferates inwards overhanging skin is blue and unhealthy this overhanging skin is blue and unhealthy